All right, Matthew, good session today. Hope you found it helpful. Just going to run through a couple of points that we discussed there in the session. Firstly, with every shot we play, I want you to try and go through kind of this routine that we'll show you here now that involves, number one, putting the golf club behind the golf ball. Once you've got the golf club set first, you can kind of build your setup around that. If we put our feet first away from the golf ball, you are literally going to be guessing that distance. And then what you will do is simply just put the golf club down next to the golf ball, which may actually be too close or too far away. But all you'll do is just adjust your balance and your body weight and either lean in or pull back. As a result of that, if you're out of position to start with, as you swing the golf club, you're making adjustments and compensations throughout the swing. So if we can go through that sequence, putting the golf club down first, and then getting your feet and hands on the golf club, you're basically then setting yourself up to comfort, which you'd hope then would be so consistent time and time again as you're going to feel comfortable the same kind of each way. So once you've got yourself set up better, the feeling in the swing that we're trying to focus on is from the top of the back swing. We get there now. There's going to be a distinct drop with the arms and the club to get the club to work down into the corner first and then accelerate through. What a lot of golfers do, they start putting the speed on too early up here, which results in the arm pulling and bending. Once the arms start pulling and bending this way, the body will start rising. And if you watch this left hand one, as you went back, as you start coming down here, now the first, the arms start to pull, 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 pull. And you can already see, if you sort of look at your head, your ears on sort of the horizon there behind or the sort of the car park, you can see a sort of body popping up there at the golf ball. And that slight rise and slight bend in the arm means that when you come back to the golf ball, you are literally further away than you started. So you can just about see there, catching top of the ball and the ball now we can see just shooting low across the ground. And then, of course, people then said, try and get under the ball or keep your head down. The reason why they see your head coming up is because your body's coming up. The weight is slightly hanging back here, caused by you trying to put speed on too early. And then that engine now sort of popping you up. But as much as you might try and keep your head down, keep your left arm straight, it's kind of going to be a physical impossibility. And the more and more you try, the worse it's going to get. So you get that sort of sensation, I'm trying really hard or I'm trying too hard, and it's just not working. So from this position here now, we can see... As we start letting the arms drop, your body actually starts shifting a little bit more now towards target. That sort of dragging drill we did, getting the club sort of scrape and get your body working this way, is working a lot better as the arms kind of fall. So now the acceleration starts coming in here. As we start the goal pool, you can see a much cleaner strike. Now, yes, the arm is still bending. That I wouldn't expect to disappear straight away. It will take a bit of practice to get used to that. But having a better body movement now and the feeling of the arms dropping, the club is able to get down into a lower position, into sort of good pre-hit position. So as you strike the golf ball, we can see the ball fizzing away and you rotating through down the drive. It's a very, very good and balanced follow-through position there. A couple of drills to point out as we discussed in the session. Number one, with the two gobbles on the outside there, I think you found that really helpful, giving you sort of a focal point to try and just swing between. And you can simply do that at home with two tee pegs um, if you break two golf balls um, and just practice swinging the club through the gate the important thing to remember is you actually are hitting the ground as you go there's no point swiping the club off across the top of the golf balls and just missing everything that's going to be no no benefit whatsoever just one last point to point out as well the grip pressure you did say you grip the club quite tight Try to make sure we've got the golf club, we are gripping it nice and loose it's still going to be secure in the fingers but we don't want any tension throughout the arms and leading into the shoulders and the body. So loosen off that grip pressure and then just focus in terms of that swing. From the top of the back swing here now, there's almost a distinct drop as the club starts working down first. Once that club starts dropping, you're in a much better sort of pre-impact position. And then strike the golf ball nicely and that ball's selling down the driving range as it was by the end of the session. So hope that all makes sense. Any questions, obviously feel free to give me a shout and I will see you next lesson. Cheers.